Today, in this practical exercise, we will calculate and estimate the carbon sequestration in a reforestation project using biomass equations, biomass expansion and conversion factors, and everything integrated in an R framework. In this lesson, we will calculate the carbon stock in above ground and below ground biomass pool in a forest plot in Castilla Leon of Pinus nigra using yield tables, carbon species specific content, and allometric relationships. To begin with, we will need to understand our data requirements for the calculation and where to obtain them. For this exercise, we will focus on data from forest species in Castilla Leon, a region in Spain. Therefore, it's of our interest to obtain regional data that best represents our scenario. For the content exercise, we will require species-specific data about carbon content values, which in our situation were extracted from Montero et al. 2005 in, her, in their publication of biomass and CO2 production of the Spanish forests. In this study, the authors propose allometric relationships and carbon content values for the mo most common species uh, in Spanish forests. Here you can see a, a brief snippet of how we imported the data in the R Studio. Another type of data that is required for this calculations are the allometric relationships on biomass ex expansion and conversion factors. Biomass expansion and conversion factors or allometric relationships are relationships or parameters that compare two uh, parts of uh, the, the tree physiognomy. For instance, they can be either in form of a uh, percentage, let's say the trunk, it's a 50% of the whole above ground biomass area or expressed in another type of relationships. In this case, the allometric relationships were extracted from the previous publication uh, of Montero et al. 2005, Biomass and CO2 Production of the Spanish Forests. Again, you can ha find a snippet code in R to import the data that was gathered from the previous the aforementioned uh, publication. Finally, we need yield tables. The yield tables are a growth model output that represents uh, the growth um, the growth evolution of a forest stand under a certain management regime. For our uh, exercise, the yield tables were extracted from the management management manual for stands from restocking of Pinus pinaster, Pinus silvestris, and Pinus nigra in Castilla Leon, published by Del Rio et al. 2006. In this document, we selected the yield tables corresponding to a low productivity stands uh, because we assume that the uh, carbon calculation is going to be performed in marginal lands where low productivity is expected. In the manual, yield tables are subject to a management scenario divided in three stages, before thinning, after thinning, and thinning. For this exercise, we will calculate the carbon for the after thinning scenario. Here you can find, for each scenario, a snippet code of the data and how to introduce it into our studio. As you can see here, in the after thinning scenario, we have three H classes with information about the stand density, the diameter, the mean diameter, the basal area, and the volume. Finally, the last parameter or information that we need to run our exercise is the normal wood density. The normal wood density is the relationship of the of wood to water. 
This information was extracted from Rodriguez et al. 2006. So once we have loaded all the data in our R code, now we can start to calculate the carbon stock following the next steps. First, we convert the commercial stem volume to stem biomass. For this, we will use the normal wood density to transform the volume that we have in the yield tables to biomass. In order to do so, we run this snippet code that will transform the volume that we have in the yield table to stem biomass. This is the output table that you will you will be given after running the code. Then next step is to obtain the above ground biomass value from the stem biomass. Since our allometric relationships are referred to the above ground biomass section of the tree, first we need to calculate the above ground biomass using a biomass expansion factor. In this case, the article provides the relationships between the stem of the above ground biomass. So in order to make this comparison, we run this script and this is a snippet of the script to obtain the above ground biomass of the, of the tree in kilograms per tree. Our next step is to obtain the rest of the biomass components using allometric relationships, our biomass con uh, conversion or expansion factors using the values proposed by Montero et al. in 2005. As you can see here, for each uh, component, for each type of branch, we apply the allometric relationship to the above ground biomass, obtaining the biomass stored in each uh, pool. Finally, this is the output that we obtain from running the snippet of code. As you can see, we have obtained biomass values for each pool in kilograms. Finally, once we have calculated all the biomass, we just have to apply the carbon conversion uh, value uh, from biomass to carbon. The carbon coefficient normally relates to uh, the 50 percent of the content in the biomass and this is different for each type of species. In this case it's for Pinus nigra the carbon fraction uh, it's equal to 50, 51 percent of the carbon in the biomass. So in this snippet of code, we just mutate across all the variables and we apply on each column, we apply this uh, simple equation. We just multiply it by 0 0.51. Then the next part of the code, we just rename and select the variables for a better and cleaner output. And after running this snippet, we obtain the final carbon result for the plot biomass. Please, if you have more interest in accessing the data sources and you want to replicate, you can either copy the snippets of code and run it in your system, or you can access the different data sources and try to write it from your own. Thank you very much for your attention and goodbye.